I've been working from home for three to four days a week since 2020. And during that time, I really do feel like I've mastered kind of the process and setup and workflow of my home office. So in this video, I'm gonna highlight the four things that I have implemented in my home office that allows me to continuously produce great work and remain productive throughout the day. So let's get into it. Tip number one, make a plan. When you work from home, it's up to you to determine what you're going to accomplish each day. If you have no plan for what you want to accomplish, you'll easily fill your eight hour workday with flack and email and random tasks without ever actually making meaningful process on the day to day things that you actually need to get done. I recently started using things three to plan my work days. At the beginning of each day, I'll go through all of my projects and mark a handful of tasks as today or this week. Once I've marked the tasks that I want to complete, I'll go to my calendar and add time blocks for one to two hours at a time and label them so that way I know what projects I want to work on throughout that time frame. Tip number two, Pomodoro timers. So once you know what you want to work on, you have to actually reach a certain state of focus in order to actually get those things done. The Pomodoro timer is one of the easiest ways to curb your procrastination. I've been using these timers for years to stop procrastinating and set a timer and to just start getting things done. In case you're not familiar with the idea, you set a 25 minute timer, work until that timer is done, and then take a five minute break. You're gonna repeat that process several times throughout the day. And that allows you to do two or three hours of really condensed focus work without getting too distracted. If you're doing this right, hopefully you'll avoid the random times of picking up your phone and scrolling through social media and getting completely off track in your home office. No matter what, I will always find a way to get distracted during that 25 minutes. So I've actually created a custom Apple shortcut that I use for this. The shortcut allows me to set a timer for a specific duration, and it also sets the focus mode across all of my devices to do not disturb during that time. It's a great way to stop getting distracted by notifications. If you want to take it to another level, you can even remove specific home screens when you're on a certain type of focus. So let's see how this shortcut actually works. If I click here, start a focus timer, I'm going to add it for 25 minutes. We will click done. You'll see that do not disturb turns on. And when I click on the timer, I've now got that 25 minute timer. So let's look and see how this shortcut is actually created. So I've pulled up this shortcut in the shortcuts app, and I'm going to walk through it really, really quickly. So if you want to recreate this, just feel free to pause the video and recreate it exactly as you see it. It's basically, it's going to ask you for a number up top, and it's going to ask the question, how many minutes? It's going to round that number to the nearest ones place. It's then gonna start a timer for that amount of time. I then have it set to open up the clock app and you're good to go. But all that's done so far is created the timer that hasn't actually set the focus mode. So let's continue on. So now what it's doing is it's going to do in a separate task. It's gonna pull the current date. It's going to add the number of minutes that we've typed in and it's going to use that data to then turn on your focus mode for a specific period of time. So when you type in 25 minutes, it's not only is it creating a 25 minute timer, it's also taking that 25 minutes and applying that to the focus mode. Tip number three, ditch the multiple monitor setup. I used to have a pretty complex setup with multiple 27 inch monitors and I would have my laptop open. While this can be incredibly useful in certain situations, like maybe I need some reference material in Excel and my task management app, maybe I need all that open and it can be useful. But for most of the work that I do as a marketer on a day-to-day -day basis, I just don't need that much screen real estate anymore. As a marketer, I spend a lot of my time building product launch campaigns, digital marketing campaign, sales deck, sales collateral, and writing, like so much writing. Most of those apps I actually need to be full screen. I don't need or want additional tabs on screen. I don't need Slack in the corner. I don't need a Twitter thread constantly on my screen. It's all just clutter and it keeps you from getting things done. So if you ditch the extra monitor, I guarantee you will be more focused and honed in on the thing that is happening right there rather than moseying off into other areas. Tip number four, grab those headphones. 
Regardless of whether you work at home or in a busy office, I've always found that the best way to focus is using headphones. I typically like to use my AirPods or a pair of Audio-Technica over-ear headphones that I really like. The most important part is not your headphones of choice. It's the type of music that you choose to listen to. Imagine trying to focus on writing or designing while hearing something like this in the background. Good luck actually getting anything done, right? That's why I gravitate towards lo-fi beats. These songs usually have deep bass and unique melody lines that keep me focused without getting distracted. I'll link a few of my favorite playlists in the description down below. But I found that once I reduced the lyric clutter that was in my head, I was actually able to focus a lot more on the work that was right at hand. So these are the strategies that I've implemented in my day to day to stay consistently motivated and focused when I'm in my office. If you're going to try any of them, let me know how it goes. Leave a comment or a like down below. I would love to hear how these tips work for you. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.